What's going on everybody? Welcome to GMI's World and I've been getting so many questions about all these new concepts with the diamonds, you know, the, the heavyweights, uh, gauntlet, veteran, stuff like that. A lot of you guys are new. Um, if you're not new, you pretty much know that it's just different ways for you to get cards at launch, including the legends and everything like that. What I will tell you is that with Madden 19, all the new information that we've been getting... They're going to give you so much on your plate at launch. It's going to be very, very difficult to try to understand all the concepts, even if you are a veteran with previous years. There's a lot of new additions with what they've been doing, and some of us are going to have missteps where we lose something, where we put something in a set that we shouldn't have or whatever like that and not really understand it, myself included. You know what I'm saying? We all make mistakes. Sometimes we're going to rush into certain things. Um, I've already given you out so many different pointers in this playlist about how to build your Madden 19 Ultimate Team. Make sure you go through all the videos because this year, everything is going to have a separate play uh, playlist regarding what I'm actually covering. So it doesn't matter. But this right here is strictly for building your team and understanding the concepts. Now, the first thing that you guys, everybody alike, is going to want to do when they first log in is understand objectives and progress, right? Um, we don't know if they're going to have certain things to get. Out of this, that can help us complete diamond sets before I even get into the, you know, the item set section. We don't know. They're going to be giving out a lot of different things because they want more and more people in the mutt because it's exploding. It's exploding in every game. No matter what you, you play, hockey, tennis, whatever you play, bro, everybody has ultimate team now. So it's exploding and they want to get more people involved. So there's going to be certain ways that you can get free cards that can possibly upgrade your diamond, you know what I'm saying, your legend and stuff like that just from there. All right. So here we go right now. We're going to go over the upgrade sets. I'm going to explain to you what's going on pretty much with the diamonds and stuff like that. All right. Some of these cards are going to have base elites, like core elites, that'll be going for like a gazillion coins at launch, right? The team diamonds are just upgraded versions of those players. Um, I believe that other games have the diamonds, like NBA 2K, I don't know, MLB, I believe, because people were telling me that there's so many other games that, that have used the diamond concept. Um, as far as EA using it right now with Madden, it's going to give you a better version of certain cards. You know, I've already saw that, uh, Melvin Gordon, he looks, yo, looks unbelievably sick, bro. Like really, really wild and ridiculous. Um, it's something that I really think is going to be exciting, uh, that we can, you know, look forward to, uh, throughout the year and stuff like that. So definitely, if you haven't seen these things on Mudhead, go definitely check out the reveals and see what you can, uh, actually view. But the diamond concept is similar to like Madden 17 with milestones. They're like upgraded players, okay? So if you, if you go and you try to upgrade a player, right, um, you're going to have different sets like this. You're going gonna, gonna to gonna be, you're gonna still be able to power up, but the power up is separate from the diamonds. And then sometimes, based on what I've been hearing, you could combine everything together to get like, you know, Thanos, based on what they're trying to tell us. Um, you're going to have the possibility of doing a lot of crazy things. So... The diamond is nothing more than, a, than an elevated car, card with a little bit more stats. Plus ones, plus twos, with pretty artwork. So the questions that I've been getting asked about the concept is, do I think it's going to be something that everybody should have? Now, I've personally seen like Cameron Jordan. That card sucked, that diamond card. So for the people that are asking me, Gee, Maya, are all the diamond cards worth it? No, they're not. Some of them have terrible stats. And you could go with a legend or even a rookie card that's going to be better at launch instead of trying to make your whole team diamonds. Now, a lot of people are going to go after that type of thing, which is why EA is very, very smart. We're doing it that way. Some of us are going to want an all, a whole team of diamonds. They're not going to be satisfied like I did with just doing, you know, a Tom Brady set, getting them up to that kind of level, whatever. Dudes are going to want all diamond teams. They're going to want their team all powered up. They're going to want crazy things. I have no issue with that, including the power-ups this year. Because remember, last year when everybody was getting mad at me and I was being very vocal about it being unfair about, um, you know, all these power-ups, I tweeted about it, I tweeted at EA about it and everything like that, I'm pretty sure there was a lot of other people that were upset, um, so I'm not taking credit for the change, I'm just letting you guys know, I will be vocal if things don't work out the way that I feel it should be fair for everyone, I just don't think it's fair that they gave us cards that we couldn't do anything with after we powered them up, so now it's different for me because like I said, you can downgrade the power-up. So if you start powering up a card and they don't play correctly for you, get rid of them. Downgrade it, sell the, sell the core elite, let somebody else have them, and move on. That'll keep the market pretty stable in most cases and keep the value of cards up, in my opinion. If, if the gameplay doesn't conform to what the cards do, okay? So if you're going to be going after diamonds, right, you're going to have to be very, very careful to understand that the core elite sometimes 
are going to play exactly like those diamonds, depending on what they add the plus ones, plus twos to. Like I saw the OBJ base and I saw the OBJ diamond. And I think he only went up like plus two in speed or something like that. I don't remember because I've been looking at so many different cards. But looking at it is just enhanced versions of those cards. Now, will those cards be used later to be upgraded to be further um, higher overall? It's possible. Okay? So if that's what you're looking to do or you have a favorite card that you want to continue to upgrade, that's one route that you can go. But I don't want you guys to feel like, oh, I got a diamond. This dude is raw. No. I, like I said, that, Mel, that Melvin, uh, Melvin Gordon card is sick, bro. But the Cameron Jordan that I saw, and I saw a couple other ones that were really, really bad. And I already know, based on the way the game is going to play from the visuals that I saw uh, in the videos that were released, a lot of these things are not going to be... It's not going to be a necessity to have certain attributes and certain cards. It just won't be. You can't put yourself in a situation where you fall for the trap early and you go away from the game plan. Because keep in mind, these are all at launch. Like these legends, the Randy Mosses, all this stuff that's going to be available at launch, Sean Taylor, everything like that. Just make sure you guys keep in mind, there's going to be a lot of other things following these promos. You see what I'm saying? So if we're, we got to pick and choose what we're going after. Because you don't want to be that person that's running around with a card that doesn't, doesn't play like the stats are. And again, I'm just going hypothetical. I'm, I have to actually physically play it first. And then I'm going to let you guys know what the deal is. And then usually 98% of you guys agree with me. We have those guys that just, they, they, they just go out. They just want a computer to do everything. And they don't really understand a lot of stuff that I'm trying to say. And some of you guys, I've converted to understand what I'm saying. So regardless of how you view it, if you go to the legend set, right? Like say, for instance, for me, I'm going to try to complete that, that, uh, that Randy Moss set as soon as possible, right? Now, I might be an idiot for doing that. But I'm going to do that based on the way that I know, regardless of what the other teams are building, he's supposed to be one of the faster, taller cards at the, at the launch. Could I go with a core elite Tyreek Hill? Yeah, I could. He's fast too. But it's Randy Moss. So what EA does is they sell you the name. If you fall for the trap and the name doesn't perform on the actual field, now you're... Bro, listen. By the time you figure that out, you're going to lose 100K plus the 10% that EA takes. And that's what happened to me a lot this year. And that's what I'm going to be preventing. Come this, you know, listen, Madden 18, I made a lot of mistakes, even though I know a lot about Mutt, because I was going with the name and I was thinking, oh yeah, this guy's going to do this, this guy's going to do that. No, they weren't doing it. And if you make believe in your mind that it's happening, that's fine. You want to be Mary Poppins, bro? You can do whatever you want. But for the, for the core base of what I'm trying to do, I'm going to make sure that at the end of the day, you still have coins that you can go and get a snipe with, that you can go and try another card with, and it doesn't affect your bottom line. Because once you start just buying stuff, and like, yo, bro, I'm about to buy this pack. Oh, yo, baby, your, your car note's due. Don't worry about my car note. I don't need to drive. When that kind of stuff starts happening with you, EA got you, okay? I'm not going to lie to you. That did happen to me in Madden 25, where I just didn't care about anything. All I wanted was the Michael Vick, and I spent like $500, and I didn't get Michael Vick. Okay, so understand that. Listen, I've been through it. It's not like I'm telling you guys stuff that I, you know what I'm saying, I didn't do. I've been through it, guys. You don't want to fall for the diamond trap. So pretty much understanding the concept of every single type of uh, set and solo and everything like that, I'm going to be explaining to you guys on a thorough basis. I'm going to make sure you understand the benefits of all of them, what you're getting, why you should do it, the things that are available. Because it's very, very important, especially if you're a veteran, that you don't make the mistake early and start crying about it. Because now you're going to be like, oh, yo, bro, you know, I, I didn't know that. I, exactly. Things change. You see what I'm saying? Like, just because we understand Mutt overall, even with the way I do it, do I understand immediately after looking at a set and, and reading what it says to do, like, right away? Yes, because I've been playing it a while. But do I still make mistakes time from time and put the wrong card in a set that I could use for something else and lose 50K here and there? Maybe more? Yes. Because sometimes we just go out of our way to be idiots. But we're not going to do that this year. We're going to be... Everybody's going to have that one idiot um, mark off, all right? You get a one idiot pass. So we can make one wrong move, but that's it. Including myself. Like, I might end up putting, you know, a wrong card in something and then it turns out to be something else. But all the sets and the diamonds are just upgraded versions of core elites. And let me tell you something. 
if the core elite can perform the simu- as bro, exactly the same, and you have the core elite, or I have it, and I try it out, and I'm like, yo, oh, okay, this is what it's doing. Once I tell you that that's the way I feel about it, I, listen, bro, it is it is what it is. Now, can the game be patched, and they change up the way that the core elite plays, uh, you know, from the diamond? Of course they can. But for the most part, we've been waiting to see that for the last three years. So I don't expect it to just be like out in your face, like visibly... Um, you see the difference like that with plus ones, plus twos. You see what I'm saying? We have to be careful with that. And keep in mind that this is all at launch. So what do you think is going to be coming a week or two later? It's going to be more promos, more sets. Do we really want to go crazy on the diamonds that are plus one, plus twos? Or do we want to get better overall cards? That's what we're going to have to you know, be able to figure out. And you know, for everybody that wants to know more and more about the diamond concepts... Like I said, I, I looked at so many of them. I was scrolling through Mudhead just looking at them. It's not like, other than the crazy artwork, the artwork looks beautiful. We I don't want to be the person that falls in love with numbers again, and then it doesn't translate to the field. So I'm trying to reserve the judgment for it. And once we get you know get our hands on it, see what's going on with it, how it plays, does that plus one block shed mean anything? Does that plus one press mean something? Does that When we get to that point, one or two things are going to happen. We're going to be very, very angry. Or number two, we're going to take out a home equity loan on our house. Whatever you guys, whatever the decision is, we'll see what's going on. Because if we take the home equity out, that means that the game is playable enough, that we're all enjoying it enough, that we're going to fall in love with it. And EA will minimally patch it, and we'll be able to enjoy it all year. We have to see how that works. Like I said, I haven't enjoyed a game all year since Madden 25. You know what I'm saying? Like, Like all throughout the year. Like I waited to get 15 because I didn't really want it. I didn't want to go away from 25. That was the last real Madden I enjoyed. Maybe Madden 19 could be like, be like that as well. So that's pretty much the assessment of the diamonds. If you have any other questions or comments, leave it right in the section right there. We pretty much will get back to you as soon as we can, uh, including the you know the viewers that you know answer a lot of questions for me. I appreciate you guys, and I'll see you guys guys and girls later, man. Until next time, one love.